current flow and voltage animation in Tina Cloud. In this tutorial video, we will demonstrate the DC current flow and voltage animation feature of Tina Cloud. We will present this through a DC example included in Tina Cloud. First, open the Examples folder in Tina Cloud. Next, click the Animation of Currents and Voltages folder and open the TPAD DC Animation.tsc circuit. TPAD is an attenuator circuit, but here we will use it with two voltage sources, one at its input and one at its output, to demonstrate the animated currents and voltages. In the given default circuit, the DC analysis will show just the currents of the resistors displayed by the current meters. Now let's see how to enable the animation feature, which is switched off in Tina Cloud by default. Select Options under the Analysis menu. The Options dialog box will appear. Scroll down to the bottom of the dialog box, and in the Live Wires group, tick the Live Wires Enabled and Auto Adjust VMAX IMAX checkboxes. Click OK to close the dialog. Click the DC button again. Now the program demonstrates the current flow with running dashes and marks the direction of the currents with filled current arrows. When a current is zero, the current arrow is not displayed. The value of voltages is also indicated by the color of the dashes, wires. Positive values are red and negative values are blue. The program calculates the maximum voltages. The maximum positive voltage is marked by red RGB100 and the zero voltage is marked by black RGB000. When the voltage is less than the maximum, the color is proportionally darker. And finally, when the voltage is zero, the dashes stop moving and the color of the dashes is black. Negative voltages are colored blue starting with RGB001. In Tina Cloud, even during analysis, you can change the component values interactively by clicking a component and then using the control panel that appears. Let's click Voltage Source V2 and start decreasing its value. As the voltage is lowering, the color intensity of the wire gets darker and darker, and finally, when V2 reaches zero, the color turns black. Let's go to the negative direction. The color of the wire turns blue. Also, in the meantime, the current flows in the opposite direction. Let's continue decreasing the V2 value until minus 5 volts. The current IR3 in the middle becomes zero. The dashes stop moving, and the current arrow is not displayed. Current and voltage animation is an especially useful pedagogical tool. You can make outstanding presentations showing animated current flows and voltages for your presentations, textbooks, or assignments. This concludes our tutorial of the DC current and voltage flow animation. For more information, visit our website, www.tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash user slash Tina Design Suite.